Hey friends, it's Alan here. I decided to go live. I'll wait a few minutes and see if anyone jumps on. But I am on the road. Well, I pulled off the road. I'm not driving while I do this live, so don't worry about that. But anyway, if you hear cars passing me on the freeway, that's that's what's going on. So anyway, welcome tonight. I decided to go live. I'll tell you more about why and where I'm at here in a few minutes. But anyway, there's five of you on and one like. I'd love it if you would uh, hit that like button and tell me where you're come, uh, joining from. Wow, Good and Simple Living jumped on. That's so kind of you. Good and Simple Living is amazing. If you have not checked them out, you need to go check them out. Go subscribe to their channel. They are incredible. So anyway, from Michigan, and let's see where else. Let me know where you're coming from. Hit that like button. From Oklahoma, from Memphis, from Durango, Colorado, from Missouri, from Washington, from Kentucky, from Utah. I'm trying to keep up with, with all these comments coming in. From Massachusetts, from Illinois, from New Mexico, Kinlichi, Arizona, Colorado, Missouri, Silly Sally says hello. She lives over by Vegas, Eastern Oregon, Vermont, Florida. Sam Johnson asks how life is. I'll tell you here in just a minute. Utah, Vancouver, North Carolina, Western Australia. First one out of the country, welcome. Uh, Oklahoma, England, another one out of the country. So pretty awesome. I just, I cannot believe how this platform of YouTube has allowed us to get to know people all over the world. I just think it's amazing. So thank you for joining. If you, I'm sure you noticed that I'm here alone. Um, my shoulder's doing great, Ty, thank you. Those of you that watch our channel or have watched for a while know that I got bucked off a horse and broke my scapula. But hey, I'm, I'm as back, back to as good as a 50 year old overweight, um, fat guy can be but anyway <laughs> so um can you see uh, isabella neil so i can oh that's so cool <laughs> can you say isabella neil so i can show my parents that is so cool tell your parents hello it is such an honor that there's actually people from all over the the world who watch our channel and it's just kind of crazy i got a call today from a man in his 80s thank you you ain't fat <laughs> that's funny uh, any news on miss 66 yes um, I forget what I was telling you before that though but anyway um, so I'm here alone today and I, I always like it better when Vicky's with me especially when we go live but just in life having Vicky with me is always better but you maybe have noticed the title of, of our, my live tonight is It's Just What We Do. And I'll tell you what that is here in just a minute. But anyway, um, we've had a busy weekend. We haven't been able to get up. Oh my gosh, someone just gave us, Peggy Haynes gave us a live chat of $4.99. Thank you so much. That is so kind. Um, Anyway, it's been a busy weekend. We try to get up three or four videos a week has been our goal lately, and we've been doing pretty good. Ty, I'll answer that question here in just a minute here. Um, he's asking about the rawhide saddles. But anyway, it's been a busy week, and we haven't got the videos up, and so I thought, you know what? I need to go live. It'll make Vicky happy when she gets off work and sees that, well, I went live, and, and that just helps people continue watching our channel it just kind of keeps people engaged like yourselves so the fact that you're on right now is evidence that it engages people and I, I appreciate so much you being on there I appreciate the likes that you've given I appreciate the support we started an Amazon wish list and so many of you um, didn't see can you say Isabella Neal one more time Someone wanted me to say <laughs> their mom's name. That's so cool. Anyway, so 
Um, that is the Amazon wish list has been a, a heaven sent. It's been so nice. Several of you, many of you, have uh, sent us horse supplements, or horse treats, or vitamins, or weight gain products for these rescue horses and it's been very nice so thank you so much but anyway I am headed to a basketball game of Blake's and that's what we do we support our children I am blessed and Vicki was blessed to have parents that supported us and went to our ball games and went to our concerts and went to whatever and um, someone says hello from pa uh, freezing pace in Utah I am so glad I'm not up in uh, f freezing pace in Utah, even though Payson's beautiful in the summer, but I like Arizona in the winter. But even though, let me flip this around. This will be really cool. I pulled off here just by a gas station here. Let's see. And look at that. That is the San Francisco Peaks in front of me. Beautiful. You can see the snow on the mountains. That is... I'm getting close to Flagstaff, Arizona. So I just turned off at the Winona exit. So if you've heard the Standing on the Corner in Winslow, Arizona song, I think it talks about Winona, Arizona. So that's that's where it's at. So thank you, Walkers. They said uh, good luck in the game to Blake. Uh, Ranger and... And your kids have been playing some amazing games lately too, and we can't wait to see you next month or here in about six weeks or whatever as we go to the Oki Homestead um, Expo. I'm so excited. But anyway, I thought you'd want to see the beautiful San Francisco peaks in front of me. But anyway, so Vicki and I, we feel it's so important to support our children. And so in Northern Arizona, it's pretty rural and so most of the the ball games are at least two to three hours away and Vicky and I try to hit all of them that we can but Vicky couldn't get off work quite early enough to get to this game and I was able to get off early enough so so I took off on, on my own and I thought you know what I've, I'm about I've got a half hour to 45 minutes to spare to get to the game on time I'm just gonna pull over, go live, say hello to all of you. Thank you for your support, and let you know that we're still we're still kicking, and we'll get a video up here in the next couple of days. It's just it it does really take a lot of effort to get up videos. So as I see, Good Simple Living and the Walkers Walker Farm Fam, or uh, any of the other channels that have jumped on here. It really is, some people think, oh wow, you have YouTube, that is so cool. And <laughs> it is cool, we love it, but it takes a ton of work. And so, anyway, thank you Peggy. Peggy Haynes said, hit that like button, that that does help. I guess the algorithm of, of YouTube, if they see, thank you so much, Good Simple Living. Um, they just said that we're doing great, but it is a challenge for sure. Their videos are like flawless. They are seriously so professionally done. And so here I am sitting in a dirty truck. <laughs> and anyway, it's definitely not flawless. But um, I want to know if you have any questions about parenting. And that's not because I feel like I'm the perfect parent. But I do, I do feel... And I, I'm prejudiced, but I have four amazing kids. And you've got to know Blake and Casey very well. The two older ones are now married and each have kids of their own. And I see, oh, I might... <laughs> Sam Johnson wants to live on a farm when, when he grows up. Anyway, do you have any questions about parenting? And again, I may not have the right answer, but I can share with you a little bit. So. Um, oh cool, someone just said that they will be at that expo. I'm excited that you're coming, can't wait to meet you. That's Old Gal Adventures. And Hume's Little Homestead just said that we have awesome kids. Thank you so much. Hume's Little Homestead has some amazing kids themselves. Go check out their channel, they're some good friends of ours. I would love to help them get to a thousand subscribers. 
Last I checked, I think they were at about 650. And uh, so right down there, uh, Hume's little homestead and go and subscribe to their channel right after this. But so any advice for teenagers, that's what scares us. So catching up with the walker says any advice for teenagers. I have been a teacher that teaches teenagers for the past 26 years. And so you think I would have all the answers. I don't, but here's what I would tell you. Enjoy them, enjoy teenagers. I, I, feel, I feel like a lot of people in the world be little teenagers and tell you all the bad things about teenagers and tell you how horrible they are. And the truth is, they're amazing. That's a great question, Sam Johnson. I'll try to come back to you here in just a minute. So anyway, enjoy your teenagers. Be their friends. I know you have to be a parent before you're a friend, and we could get into that. You've, you've got to... You can't just be their friend. I've seen some parents that they're they're more concerned with being their child's friend than they are with being a parent, and that's just that's not good. But anyway, but enjoy teenagers. I'm I'm so excited that I get to go watch Blake tonight. And something I've learned, you know, Blake is a really good athlete and he excels in sports and he does really well and he plays a lot and he scores a lot and he was the starting quarterback and I my older son was is an amazing kid the most compassionate kindest kid in the world but he wrestled from third grade until eighth grade so they started junior high wrestling could start in third grade I don't he never won a match but he never quit and we enjoyed supporting him. I enjoy watching my kids, whether they win or lose. And that's something someone taught us years ago. No matter if your kids play or not play, go to the games and, sit and let them know, I love watching you play. And that's just awesome. Um, just love watching, watching them play, watching them perform. Uh, Hume's Little Homestead, it says, yeah, preparing us for the teens, uh, or prepare us for the teens. Hume's Little Homestead, their son, um, maybe you can put it in the chat. I, I'm embarrassed. I don't think it was Levi. I think it's your oldest son just placed in the spelling bee this week. My kids have never placed in a spelling bee. Uh, they inherited Vicky and I's ability to spell. But I'm sure that there you go. Uh, or someone so thank you Susan we appreciate your support um that was from Hume's little homestead but anyway th so that's that's my advice with teenagers enjoy them love them and don't be critical of them and of don't lump them into this category of all teenagers are evil horrible people because they're actually awesome um Okay, someone asked me about anxiety and depression with how do you deal with that? Honestly, I know it, it, there are real things. I, I know I deal with, with people that struggle with that a lot. But I do believe that we, we've got to turn off our cell phones and we've got to connect with nature and connect with uh, other human beings in person. And we've got to learn to work. And that's something that I, I feel has been invaluable for our children as they learn, they've they learned to work. They, they like to work. Blake, honestly, this is not made up. If there's a day, there you go. It was Caden is the one that, um, that placed in the spelling bee. So good job, Caden, we're so proud of you. That's, that's amazing. So anyway, teach your kids to work. And I started to tell you, Blake, if we have a Saturday that he happens to not have a million other things going because he does play so many sports and he goes on fun dates and he does things like that, um, he'll say, Dad, what project can we work on? And I love that he loves to work. He's learned to to gain satisfaction in that. Casey has learned to push herself. She's becoming a very good athlete. 
and she started out not thinking she liked sports and we didn't push her. We, we, every year we'd ask her, do you want to do softball? Do you want to do basketball? No, no, no. This year her friend said, Casey, do you want to play uh, softball? Yeah. <laughs> well, once her friend said, hey, do you want to play? Casey started playing and she has just done awesome this year. And so with your teenagers, with your kids, encourage them to work hard encourage them to put their phone away. I know a lot of you are saying, I try to encourage them, I try to take it away, I ground them. Once you get to that point, it's pretty tough. So we've chose to not give phones to our kids too young and to encourage them to enjoy life outside of technology. And so anyway, um, sorry, got on my soapbox and I've missed some questions here. What position does Blake play in basketball? He's a post player. He's only about six foot one, but he plays very aggressively. And in a small school like ours, he's the third tallest on the whole team. And so he plays post, which, uh, or forward or, or center, however, I'm trying to think of, I played a lot of basketball, but back when I was, a, playing basketball we called them forwards and centers more and now they call them post players but someone asked how the puppies are doing we're down to two left so but they're doing good um okay someone okay listen to them teach them to talk no matter what hold your cool and talk about it, the solution okay um margaret just gave some great advice there I believe YouTube has actually been a, a really cool thing for our family because our kids are learning to talk. They've always been good at talking, actually. They, uh, we've taught them to talk to adults. Blake does his trash, trash business, and he goes and, and picks up people's trash. My oldest son, Bryson, started doing that first in our family, and then Kaylee, and they have to bill people. They have to talk to them when they go pick up their trash. It, it always made me happy when I was like, hey, what's taking so long? And, oh, well, I stopped and talked to this widow. And anyway, they just, they learned to be kind to people and, and to talk to them. It was pretty, pretty awesome. So um, anyway, uh, what else? Oh, one of you asked about our saddles, um, Blake's Saddle brand, which will be called Rawhide Saddles. We are gonna get our first couple saddles in here soon and so then we'll start promoting them. So um, we're super excited about that. Never would have thought that we would have had a custom saddle maker approach us about making saddles and putting the, the Rawhide 66 brand on those saddles. So we're super excited about that and we'll have more details to come. So I've probably missed some of your questions or comments, but like I say, if you're joining us late, this is what we do. We support our children. And Vicki supports 150% and it's killing her that she's not here tonight. But that's what parents do also. If you support your kids, you've got to sometimes divide and conquer. I really admire single parents that somehow make it work because I couldn't do it without Vicki. And anyway, it's just, thank you, Daryl. They said, we love your show. Thank you so much. Um, but anyway, sometimes we just have to divide and conquer. Again, I'm glad to hear the advice because I'm wondering. Okay. Yeah, Hume's Little Homestead. You can tell, ask us privately when we let our kids have phones. There's not a magical age. But anyway, that's always a, a challenge because kids nowadays want them so young. It's just crazy. But Anyway, so Vicki will pick up Casey from practice and I will be texting her updates and she'll get to, she'll get to uh, know how Blake's doing. And then next Tuesday, I believe, is the first round of state. I hope I have my dates right. Anyway, so Vicki and I will both, she's already taken off half a day. I will start my day early enough. I, I have a flexible schedule that I can say. Um, so we'll go together and we'll support Blake. And then Casey has uh, two games this week also. We'll support her. And 
anyway, we love our older kids and thanks to FaceTime, we're able to keep up with our grandkids and hopefully we'll be good supportive grandparents also. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. If we didn't, if I didn't answer all your questions, I apologize. Um, we had to get one for a little boy. Um, I didn't, I didn't catch that comment, but anyway, thanks for getting on tonight. Like I say, I probably missed some of our YouTube uh, channel friends that got on. Uh, Margaret raised three as a single parent. Bless your heart. You're amazing. Um, how are the horses? The horses are doing amazing. Good sip living. Take care. Horses are calling us for dinner. I bet it's dark up there already and you have to go out in the freezing cold. So good sip of living. Uh, love you guys. Uh, hope, have a good night and everyone check out their channel. Check out Hume's Little Homestead. It'll be fun to see if they went up some subscribers tonight. And Walker Farm fan or catching up with the Walkers. They have two channels. Go check them out. Those are the three channels I've noticed tonight that, that are good friends of ours. But anyway, I'm going to go to the game and I'll try to report on one of our videos how Blake did. But God bless and I hope I gave you a little advice that may be helpful. If it's not, just throw it out. But anyway, hit that like button real quick and have a great evening. And thanks again for that super chat. That was so kind of you. Take care. God bless.